the Sky Sports pundit is regularly involved in Mercedes F1 plans. Sky Sports F1 lineup includes a pundit who is currently part of the Mercedes team looking to give Lewis Hamilton and George Russell the edge over their competitors. Ant Davidson recently sat down with Sky Sports F1 team to discuss his role as a simulator driver for the German constructor. It's been a rough few seasons for Mercedes, who have fallen behind Red Bull as the dominant force in F1. They had won eight consecutive Constructors' Championships between 2014 and 2021, but since then, they've endured a difficult time on the track, with both Hamilton and Russell having struggled with the new updates to their car. One of the ways they look to combat those problems though is via simulation drives, something Davidson is well acquainted with. The F1 analyst opened up about his role with Mercedes during a recent episode of the Sky Sports F1 podcast. He said, Away from Sky duties, I'm very much working with the team in the simulator. It's a small role. I see it as a small role. But I like to approach that with 100% dedication when I'm in there to try and get the best out of future developments and to try and get the best out of the car when they're there at the circuit. Davidson, who was speaking ahead of last weekend's Australia Grand Prix, continued. This weekend for example, it's not a sky weekend for me. On the Friday, straight after FP2, I'll be doing what they call race support. So I'll be in the simulator, going through a few different options of setup for the next day's FP3 session. So while they're sleeping over there, in Australia, we'll be working through our early morning to deliver them at the track some different options that I've given the virtual thumbs up to. Sometimes it's the two different cars that will run different setups, and I'll try both of their setups which is fascinating. It's very subtle but it takes a lot of brain power to feel the differences of their setups sometimes in the sim, because you don't have as many cues as you do in real life. So you're trying to fill in the missing pieces. Having seen both Mercedes cars fail to finish Sunday's race in Melbourne, Davidson and Co. will be hard at work to try and arrest any problems ahead of the next race. They'll have plenty of time to work on the cars too because the drivers will enjoy some time off this week, before returning for the Japanese GP in early April.